In this nugget, you and I are going to focus on getting our Windows 10 system enrolled into Intune for mobile device management as part of the overall Azure system. So the first thing that we want to do in order to take advantage of this is go to our Azure Active Directory and inside the Azure Active Directory, we want to go down to Mobility. So notice this says Mobile Device Management and Mobile Application Management. We're focusing on the MDM aspect of this at this point. So we click on this and you're going to see this Microsoft Intune link. Notice there's the subcomponent of Microsoft Intune enrollment, but we are just going right straight to the Intune settings here and note what I've set up. I've gone in and said for my MDM user scope, I've changed this from none to some and I selected, surprise, surprise, our user group we created of test users. So we're going to say we want mobile device management for the test users group and note that it's going to fill in the appropriate URLs and if those were to get messed up, you could restore them right from here. So this is the first setting that we make. And you're going to note that if you go into Microsoft Intune enrollment, you're going to see that this is the MDM user scope and it reflects what we just set up there. Okay, great. So that's done. Now what we really need to do is check on the user account that we want to test this with. So I'm going to go to the test user two account and what we need to do very first thing is go to licensing and make sure that we have assigned this user the appropriate license that's going to give the Intune functionality. Note I'm using the Enterprise Mobility and Security E3 license bundle that gives me the premium Azure Active Directory that we need and the Intune that we need. So that license is associated with that user. If you didn't do this, sure enough, you will get an error message uh, and it's kind of cryptic. It doesn't really come right out and say you don't have a license. I'll show you where you would look for more information about why your enrollment is failing in a moment. So great, the licensing is all set. Excellent. I know I've got this user in the appropriate group of test users that we created. And there's one important thing that we have to do in the profile. Notice that I've been lazy about this profile. Don't be lazy about profiles for your users. If you don't have the settings usage location set, auto enrollment would fail because that needs to be set for the licensing to work. So be sure to fill this stuff out because in this case, that would really mess us up if usage location was not completed. All right, so that's that. We are in a situation now where these users in the test user group can get automatically enrolled in Intune. I'm going to go to my Windows 10 PC right now and log into that PC using the work slash school account that we know gets them in the Azure Active Directory and we'll check out the Intune entry that we're going to see inside the Azure console. So I just got logged into that Windows 10 system. There were no errors and we must be enrolled in Intune. How exciting. Now, one of the things that you're going to give your users instructions to do in this case is go to their Microsoft store and they're going to do a search for, let me click in there so I can type, that would help. They're going to do a search for company portal. And the company portal will be available for them to install. You can see I've already installed it. It's just a one-click installation. And the company portal is going to be a great way that we can deploy apps and other configurations to the users that we want them to have. Notice there was just a sync and an update of my company portal. That's cool. So, uh, hey, I'll just stay right in that window and say launch. And notice this nice company portal that we can customize and we can send apps to that we want to deploy out to the users. 
So here's our device that we're in right now. There hasn't been any new apps made available to us, etc. But you get the idea. This portal is a great, great feature of Intune. And by the way, if you thought there was a lot to check and worry about with this Intune enrollment, you should have seen this about, oh, four or five years ago. Woof. I spent days trying to figure out issues that we were having with getting devices enrolled into Intune. It was not fun. Now, let's verify things up here in Azure. So I'm going to do a search for Intune, and we're going to go to the Intune console inside of Microsoft Azure. And I definitely want to go to Devices, because we should see this device enrolled. Look at that, a Windows device, beautiful, enrolled in Intune. And if we go to... Let's see, all devices, we should be able to see specifics about that Microsoft Surface Book 1, which is the creative name I gave that. And we can see that it's managed by MDM, corporate ownership, it's in compliant with security. We'll talk more about this later. It's Windows, the version, and we can click on this device in order to get even more information and start controlling it. Notice we could wipe right from here. Yikes. One of the things I like to do at this point to really verify that Intune can do its magic is when we're testing the enrollment like this, I love to initiate a restart. <laughs> yeah, what a cool thing. So I'm going to click restart here. It says, are you sure users won't be automatically notified and could lose stuff? We're going to say, yes, we're sure. And I don't know why Microsoft says that they're not notified there because they are going to get a screen that indicates we are rebooting their system. Um, of course, you know, they better save their work and all that stuff. They don't have a whole lot of time, but they will see a banner that displays telling them the administrator is rebooting their system. So I'm here in my studio. I'm looking over at that Windows 10 machine sitting uh, just across the office from me. And guess what? It is rebooting. So you'll see the restart pending here. It'll go away, of course. And down here under restart pending, it will be restarted once that process has completed. So this is a great test to make sure we really are managing the mobile device thanks to the beauty of Intune. Now, before I let you go, just a couple more points. Remember, if there's a problem with enrollment, out at the client machine, there'll be error messaging. Now, the issue, as I alluded to with some of the error messaging, is for your end user, it's definitely going to be cryptic. For you, it might even be fairly cryptic. Where you get great information about what's going on is the Azure portal. So like here, we're taking a look at the enrollment, device enrollment area. And it's in areas like this where we're going to get great information about failures and exactly what's happening. It'll spell it out for you. When I was testing Intune recently, I forgot to give a user the location setting that we mentioned. And in here, it was like, nope, can't enroll that device because you have to go into the profile and set the location. It was that specific about what was wrong. So that is great to know. One other point too is remember your clients, when they enroll in Azure Active Directory and initially log on, when they're enrolled in Intune, they're getting messages to indicate those activities took place. So it's nice that the client gets messaging about their machine properly integrated into your Azure and Intune system because, you know, it's nice that things just work transparently, but we don't want to do things surreptitiously, if you will, to their Windows 10 system. Is surreptitiously even a word? Hmm, I don't know. This is one of those nuggets where you might want to watch it a couple of times. There was a lot of information that we shared with you in this nugget on how to do this process and make sure you don't fight errors with it. So don't be afraid to watch this a couple of times. Take some notes if you need to in order to understand this process and those key ingredients that you need to be looking for to make sure our Intune device enrollment goes smoothly. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.